Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. We are about to head into Meru Town right now. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon. Um, our main reason for going is, well, we always tend to have multiple reasons that take us into town when we go, but um, my main purpose is to go and get some things for baking, um, some chocolate chips, Thank you guys so much for letting me know. They actually, in fact, do have chocolate chips at Naiva's. They're just not packaged um, in the shelves. They, they're in the little um, section of the grocery store where you have to like scoop it into uh, little sacks and then have it weighed. And I didn't know that. So I did see them last time I was there. So um, we're gonna go get some chocolate chips, some baking things. Tomorrow is in fact Halloween, October 31st. And we're going to do a little bit of just celebrating here at home. Um, the kids and I decided we wanted to make some chocolate chip cookies. Um, we wanted to make some popcorn. And we're going to watch like some Halloween movies tomorrow evening. And we're going to paint pumpkins as well. Which reminds me, when we get home, we need to go into the storage and get out the pumpkins. Um, yeah, so it should be fun. So we're gonna go into town and do that. I also wanna make a stop at maybe just that thrift store that's in Makutano. I always forget the name. Is it like Four Ways or something? Four Ways Thrift Store. Um, I wanna stop there, see if they have any tennis shoes, like sneakers for Lucas because he needs some new shoes. Um, and I like just thrifting shoes for the kids mostly because they just grow out of them so dang fast that there's no point in buying like brand new shoes every few months. Earlier today, we had some gentlemen that live here in our community. They came over to our house to meet with us and visit us. They operate a charity here in the area called Friends of Kianjai, Kenya, and they do a lot of good work. I think they said they've been operating for, I think, 13 years, and they just do a lot of good around this village area as well. Um, I did take some footage. They wanted to just introduce themselves and um, talk a little bit about what they do. So I'll show you guys that footage right now. And yeah, we're gonna head into town. Taking pictures. Pictures and then, and then we'll have him introduce him. Yeah. You guys should introduce yourself and uh, yeah. talk about the friends of Kianjai yes, we Foundation. Yes, we will. Okay, you can yeah. introduce okay. yourself. <laughs> My name is the Reverend Dr. Jonathan Geshara. Mm -hmm. um, I'm the Vice Chair of Friends of Kanjai, uh, which is a charity based in UK, okay. but uh, operates in Tegania West. And nice. I'm so glad to have uh, visited with the Lemiris today to see the incredible work which they have done here in the community in two, only two years. Uh, that's the basis of my visit today. Yeah. Thank you so thank much. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Yes. We're glad to have you here. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. What projects Anyone? do you guys do in Tigania? Well, various, really. Uh, we have supported schools, a lot of schools. We, uh, I think we have been in 13 schools where we offer scholarships to the poorest of the poor. Uh, the children who cannot really afford school fees. Okay. Uh, we work with the teachers and the school committees to identify the children who cannot uh, afford school fees. We work with the, uh, the uh, physical challenge in uh, quite a number of schools also. Mm -hmm. And we have a centre called the Rehema Centre in Kitheo, okay. where we, the, the children visit with the parents uh, to be assessed and to get assistance. So we, we do a lot of things. We have sunk boreholes. Mm -hmm. We have uh, fed communities during the drought mm -hmm. uh, all the way to, to us near Isulu. So yes, Friends of Kenya, we've been operating here for the last um, 13, 14 years. Wow. To visit today, mm -hmm. to get to know us and get to see what we do as well. Because also, also our, our aim is to empower the, the Akivei community, to empower the poor community, and find solutions to some of the problems that we see that's undermined in the community. Mm. Yeah. Have the coordinator talk. <laughs> okay, it's your turn. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, uh, my name is Peter Gitonga, Friends of Kenjai, Kenya coordinator. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad to have visited here today to see what you do in the community because more or less the same thing that we do mm -hmm. by transforming the lives of our community members. One of the committee members. Uh, thank you so much. I'm Samuel Lichara. Mm -hmm. I'm one of the committee members uh, as far as Friends of Kenya is concerned. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm glad of the work that you have been doing around as Lemiris. Mm -hmm. And uh, Friends of Kajai is uh, happy to partner with you yeah. in helping the community. I think we can partner well together. Yeah, thank you so much and God bless you yeah, so much. Thank you. Yeah, me say them tears ago, my life be like yo. Nu vill jag kunna ge tillbaka allt jag inte kunna ge förut Det finns ingen annan där som kan stå här by my side oh why Sätt ett ur rör på det får mig och dö för det baby För de här jadis jadis, de vill ju bara dra ner oss Men du är fett och vanlig, på det jag lägger all min tid upp Jag vill ha det, ha det, du får mig tjäna safety Ni kan nog le det baby, och jag kommer aldrig ändra mig So have for no gonna not end Aldrig, aldrig, aldrig Come on, let's go, so have for no gonna not end Every time I'm back on you, I think Oh, which cup you had I would go back to the time and do it all again First, 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 first First, first, first See it like it's always you, I'm a wife Här jadis, jadis De vill ju bara dra ner oss Men du är fett och vanlig På det jag lägger all min tid upp Jag vill ha det, ha det Du får mig tjäna safety Vi kan nog le det baby Och jag kommer aldrig ändra mig Aldrig, aldrig, aldrig To the mall and it's very hot in Meru right now The rain should be coming next week um, we stopped. It is so hot. We stopped. We stopped along the way to pick up some copies of um, our Lemiri Family Foundation. What do you call it? Nonprofit organization. Yeah, but like it's the official certificate, right? Yeah, certificate of incorporation. Yeah, the certificate of incorporation. It finally came out, so that feels nice to have the. Official certificate in hand. I just want to hang out in this parking garage all day because it's cool down here. Yes. Run, 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 run. These are the chocolate chips. This one. That one. beautiful subscribers yes. and they wanted to say hi and I'm so hi. grateful that they did yeah <laughs> so hi. say hi say where you're from we're well, from Lake Conga yeah yeah, ah, God, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so happy to meet you Oh, it's so 
half out. Well, that's not filled up in me. Mm -hmm. So George and I are now at our hill property. Um, he needed to come pick up some gunier sacks full of grass. The grass was cut yesterday and put into sacks and then we give them to our goats and sheep. And there were a few sacks left over here. So we drove over here to come get those. And then George said he wanted to climb up the hill today, which now that I'm looking at it, <laughs> I always underestimate how high it is. Um, but I said I wanted to come with him because I was planning to do my workout for the day this evening. So I decided why not just have this be my workout, <laughs> climbing this massive hill. So we're about to climb up there. It doesn't look very intimidating on the camera, but I promise it is a climb. And my legs are gonna be burning. But that's the point of the workout. And we also wanted to just come over here and gather some inspiration from this hill property because we do have plans for it. We do plan to plant coffee trees here pretty soon in the next few months um, after this, what, like January, February, somewhere in there. So. We're gonna plant trees going up the hill. So the hill is from here where we're standing up to the top. Yep. So this whole portion is ours and we're excited to do things on it and develop it. Make it a coffee place. And if you've been here on the channel for a while, you've heard us talk about wanting to put um, like a camp, a nice camp, like luxury resort camp type of place because the view up there is amazing. So we're gonna try to climb up there, catch the sunset, catch the views, get some exercise as we go. I'm already deep breathing. Heavy breathing. It's only been 30 seconds. Go non stop climbing. Keep going. Keep going, Keep no resting. Go. Oh. Go away, just follow the road. Going to the workout. Remember how slippery this place is. Last time we came here, George went down, I went down, the kids went down. Oh yeah, George got stabbed in the face with sisal. Hopefully this time we're a little less chaotic. But the grass is so slippery. That's the problem. We're gonna put steps. Ah! We're gonna put steps going all the way up. That would be nice. There's the sun peeking through the trees.
We're almost at the sunset. Look at that view. It's a good view. Like this property, you get both sunrise, sunset right there. Sunrise right here. Hi. I'm nervous about going down guys because I'm slipping going up. What about going down? Ooh. That's why we decided not to bring the kids this time. Cause last time everyone was falling down. It's a bit dangerous. It's steep, like look at it. Okay, almost there. We are beginning our descent and wish us luck because it's slippery, but the sunset was worth it. Gorgeous. We always feel inspired when we come up here, so. So we got some guinea fowl eggs because George wants to try to hatch some more. Yes. Since our chicken wants to lay on egg, so this time we want to do guinea fowls, 10 of them. That is so many. It's going to be noisy up in here oh. if they all hatch. We only have one guinea fowl that roams around here right now, and it's so noisy. Like, they're cool looking birds, but they're so noisy. I can't imagine having 10. That is going to be, whoa, that's going to be a circus, but... It's this chicken, it's ready to brood some eggs, so we gotta do this. So are you gonna replace the eggs or add? It doesn't have any eggs. Oh, no, it does not I thought have. you said it was sitting on them already. No, it's ready to see. Mm. It's ready to see, so I'm gonna give it eggs. Uh -huh. Two. Ready to go, Chicky. Do your thing. Work your magic. What's magic? <laughs> Look at him, he's gonna see the eggs. Put your eggs. Put right there. <laughs> you gonna go? Don't be shy. 
You want babies around here, chicken? <laughs> we want babies around here. Make us babies, chicken. 21 days. No. Or is it longer? Oh, guinea fowl are longer. Yeah, 31 or 33. Okay, 33 days. That's your job. Your one and only job. All right, that's it for today's vlog, you guys. It's been a fun, good day. I'm tired, I need to go wash my feet because they're full of dust and dirt from climbing that hill. And I'm starving, I'm sure the kids are hungry. So this is where I will wrap up the vlog. And tomorrow's Halloween, so I'll do some vlogging tomorrow of our cookie making, chocolate chip cookies, and some of the pumpkin painting and fun things that we have planned for the evening, so. Bye everyone. Woo! It's been a fabulous Felt day. like a bug was crawling on me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe there was, I don't know. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. See you tomorrow. See you soon. Good night. Good night.